All right. Um, okay. So, uh, Richard, you have a story, a, a spectacular story of success uh, that we didn't get to talk about on the show about uh, a young girl who became Miss N Nebraska? Mm -hmm. Yes, she was a student um, two years ago at the high school. And when we run our program, we used to always, used to always have introductions. So they'd introduce themselves and they could tell them their Ho-Chunk name, who their grandparents were, who their parents were, their Ho-Chunk names, and pretty much where they came from and maybe just something just uh, smaller, you know, just whatever they wanted to say, you know, about themselves. Well, this young lady, she kind of surprised me. Most of the class, you know, pretty basic. Every day she'd come down and then in a week she'd have added something else to it. In another week she'd add something else to it. And before long, you know, instead of just half a page, she had a full page of stuff that she wanted to say. And I said, well, yeah, that's fine, you know. And so... This was all her introduction. Yeah, just, just, just introducing herself and just kept building on that. And so when she went down to Nebraska and she was going to compete in the Miss uh, Winnebago, Nebraska, you know, at the powwow there, she she went up there and she spoke, you know, they asked her to introduce herself. So she got up, she, she told them in Ho-Chunk who she was and that, that whole introduction thing that she did. And they were just amazed and she <laughs> got to go into Miss Nebraska. <laughs> so she did that, you know, that was really well. And I'm going to work with another young lady that's in a, in a, a whole chunk. She's a, she's a finalist in the Miss Teenage Wisconsin thing. Her name is uh, Marguerite uh, White. And so um, I'm going to teach her a little bit about whole chunk too, you know, but that's not a whole chunk thing. It's just, just, you know, just so she can introduce herself. People identify her as yeah. her father is Spanish and her mother is whole chunk so I said but I'll do that for you I said so we're going to work on that too so but it's nice to work with young kids <laughs> it's fun and like I told you about that little boy he's four years old and he's bilingual and he even knows how to kid in whole chunk now you know and he's he's fun to watch <laughs> he's a, he's a, he's a, you know in the morning when he sees you it, it's something about those children at the daycare too that's kind of fun is the fact that if you speak Ho-Chunk to them, they'll bond with you pretty quick. If you speak English to them, they kind of shy away from you. Uh -huh. they, they, they're, you know, they're, they're, they feel safe if you're there. And if somebody comes in speaking English to them, they'll kind of back away and go, you know, where somebody that's, what they, they knows that they, you, they speak Ho-Chunk, they'll go to them and be by them. So they, they're, they're a good little group to watch. So every time I go over there, I have to chase them around the house for a while and play with them. And then I have to speak whole chunk to them, you know, and ask them questions, you know, and they'll answer. How, how do you begin to teach whole chunk? What, what's the first thing you say? Me, I have, like I said, I was never a teacher. I didn't, I had, I didn't have a clue. We had books that was produced by the nation. We did the best we could to those, like I said, but I wasn't, I wasn't a teacher, didn't know. And then I got to thinking about it, and I said, well, what, what is something that you do every day? So you're going to ask what, who, where, how, who, you know, just uh, what, when, you know, things like that. You know, just those basic questions and build on those, and then you can always build answers to them, you know. And, and I said, well, I said, we can ask those questions, and if you don't know the answer in Ho-Chunk, at least say it in English, and we'll translate it for you, you know. Or take, do like, an, uh, just take another speaker and sit there and ask those questions back and forth until they hear it. Like I said, we never had a written language. You're supposed to use your ears and and memorize these things, and some of the, some of the people have become so used to taking notes and writing this. I said, you know, when you do that, that's a, that's a terrible crutch because that's, that's something you'll never give up and then you're going to be used to carrying those notes with you. If you don't hear it and don't say it, you're never going to learn. And I'm, I'm getting some resistance on that because they want to say, no, I have, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a learner that has to write it. The more I write it, the better off. I said, no, the more you speak it, the better off you're going to be, you know. And so there is a little resistance in that. But we haven't heard you say anything in Ho-Chunk the whole hour. Will you say something? Okay. Uh, well, you said you wanted to kind of like a greeting. 
And what did you just say? I just said it was glad to be here and that um, uh, me and myself, I'm nobody here, you know, I'm just here, you know, and that um, maybe someday, you know, what my ancestors, you know, said that I'll be able to We'll be able to regain some of that in some way. It's not going to be all of us, but it'll be some of us. And so, I just want to, you know, thank you for this opportunity to do this, you know. And so that's basically. Thank <laughs> you so much. Okay. <laughs>